Welcome to Chemistry Lover. So in the last video we discussed about the pinacol pinacolon rearrangement and in this video we are going to discuss about the semi pinacol rearrangement. Now if you uh, if you have missed the previous video I will suggest you to watch that video first and then come to this video because this video is related to that and if you don't understand what is a pinacol rearrangement then you, you will not also understand what is a semi pinacol rearrangement. So now make sure that you have watched the previous video and now let us start our today's topic. So what is a semi pinacol rearrangement? So it is like a pinacol rearrangement but here uh, you don't have a choice. What is mean by that? So let's say you have this compound where you have OH in one side and in another side you have NH2 group and now you treat this with NaNO2 HCl. So what will happen? Now this is NaNO2 HCl, this is a diazotizing condition and we know that in this condition NH2 will be converted to N2 plus which is a leaving group N2 plus right. Now from this compound uh, this N2 can be uh, eliminated, it can be um, turned out. So what you will get from here is this carbocation right. So this carbocation formation will occur and we have met with this same carbocation in our discussion of pinacol rearrangement right. So you, you all know what will happen next. So this OH will push its lone pair and this methyl group will migrate over here which will give you this product. So this is the same product which we will get by the pinacol pinacolone rearrangement of this compound let us say. Here we have to put what H2SO4. So both of these are giving same product but in this case why we are saying it is semi pinacol because it is not coming from the pinacol. This one to diol is called pinacol but this is not a pinacol but the uh, out product is same. So that is why it is called semi pinacol rearrangement. Now why there is no choice because you cannot control the carbocation uh, formation here right. I mean by default the carbocation formation will occur on this side. So let us say so we have discussed about the migrating aptitude in the pina, in the discussion of pinacol rearrangement and there we have said that if you have a group with higher electron density that will migrate in preference to others. So let us say here you have phenyl groups, here you have phenyl groups and uh, let us say here you have this OH and in this side let us say you have methyl groups and here you have NH2. So although these phenyl groups are uh, superior in or in, in terms of migrating aptitude but um, if you employ this condition NaNO2 HCl then you cannot form a carbocation over here right because this condition is selective chemo selective for this NH2 group it will by default form carbocation over here because it will it is a diazotizing condition. So that is why um, this uh, phenyl group will migrate over here this phenyl group will migrate over here. Now this is not because phenyl group is having higher migrating aptitude it is uh, there is no choice if instead of phenyl group let us say you have uh, let us say um, we just uh, change the condition let us say we have phenyl groups over this side so I have to erase it let us say now the situation is changed we have uh, methyl group here and phenyl groups here right. So then also sorry mm, I just have written the same thing what I am trying to say is let us say we have methyl groups here and phenyl group here right. Now the carbocation will form this side so uh, although although the group that is um, methyl is having lower migrating aptitude but it has to migrate because by default carbocation formation will occur in this side. So there is no choice right so that is why we are uh, saying that semi pinacol is 
pinacol without a choice. Now, let us discuss about some more examples of semi pinacol rearrangement. So, um, let us say you have this substrate, you have bromine over here and you have OH and if you treat this with AgNO3, what will happen? So, Ag will uh, take this bromine and it will form a precipitate of silver bromide. So, you will having silver bromide precipitate and now you are having this carbocation. So, this OH will push, this methyl group will migrate and you will get this as your product. So, this is also a semi pinacol rearrangement. Let us look into some more examples. Uh, next is an interesting example. What is that? So, let us say you have this substrate, you have this bicyclic type substrate where uh, you have OH over here and OH over here. Now, if you uh, do not do anything, if you just put acid, then um, what will happen? S simple elimination will happen, but if you put let us say tosyl chloride in presence of pyridine first, then because this OH group is a primary OH group. So, it will be tosylated in preference to the other OH group which is secondary. So, here you will have OTS group right. So, this group is secondary and this is primary, it is more reactive. So, it will react to give you this tosylate compound. Now, if you put silver carbonate, so which is a base. So, this base will take proton from here. So, you will get O minus after taking of this proton. So, what you will get O minus you will get by the presence of CaCO3. So, I have to write 1, 2 CaCO3. So, this is the thing you will get. Now, when this will push, this group will migrate over here and tosylate will go as a living group. So, we are forming this tosylate to make it a living group. And now, what we will get? We will get a compound like this. So, here this. So, this will be our compound right. Uh, let, let us count it once. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, correct. So, this will be our product. In the next example, we have a very interesting compound. We have this one. We have we have this compound. We have this compound, and here what we have is we have this iodine and we have this OH. So on this compound, if you give let's say silver nitrate. Now again, like the previous one, what silver nitrate will do? The silver will take this iodine right, but it cannot form a carbocation over here because uh, it will be a um, primary carbocation. So, it will have interaction with silver Ag plus it will have interaction. Now, this OH will push and this group will uh, migrate over here and this iodine will go. So, iodine will go as silver iodide precipitate and here you will have a formation of this ring. So, here you have this sorry um, the chair will not be like this, the chair will be something like this. Yeah, this is the chair and you have this group over here and here you have the carbonyl group. So, this is the thing here form. Okay. So, this group why it is migrating because uh, this this bond and this bond they are anti anti parallel to each other so it will easily migrate there is overlap the next example and the last example of this uh, lecture is this one where you have a uh, pin uh, pin uh, you, you have a cyclic compound cyclopentane and you have this oh group over here and here you have nh2 now if you give NaNO2 HCl again, it is a nitrating condition. So, what will happen here is uh, this will form N2, N2 plus 
here we have OH so when this OH will push electron this group will migrate over here and this N2 plus will go as nitrogen gas so here you will have a ring expansion product and you will get this ok. So, uh, these are some of the important examples of semi pinnacle rearrangement I hope um, you will learn something from this video if you find this video helpful then subscribe this channel and also uh, let me know in the comment section about the feedback of this video and uh, that is all thank you for watching.